peptides. Listen up, guys, because this is important. Peptides and peptide therapies are going away for good. That's right. The FDA came out and they banned the majority of the different peptides. They have so many different benefits and it helps so many different patients out there with so many different situations and ailments. So if you guys are looking to get on your peptide therapy or want to continue your peptide therapy, they are still available for a limited time through Titan Medical Center and our pharmacies that we use. So please call or text us at 727-389-3220. You can get up to a six month supply of the peptides that you're utilizing. So if you guys are utilizing peptides or thought about utilizing peptides, now is your time, do not delay. Like I said, we don't know how long these peptides are gonna be around, but the ban is going into effect. So you guys know, if you don't believe me, go ahead and Google for yourself and you'll read it right there. So we also have a petition that you guys can sign for peptide therapies to stick around. So go to the FDA. So if you see the petition and it's helped you, these peptides, please sign this petition so we can get the voice heard to the people that need to hear it. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys. And peptides have helped me. I know they helped so many of you. So make sure the peptide therapy don't go away. And if it does go away, make sure you have enough to at least help yourself out for a little bit of time. This is a Titan Medical Center production. What's up, guys? This is Big Drew here at the Hilton. Get ready for the Hurricane Pro. We had check-ins today. Shout out to everybody who came by the Titan booth and got a picture and a free T-shirt. Good luck to all the competitors in the MPC and the IBB. This is a Titan Medical sponsored event. I'll see you tomorrow at the Hurricane Pro. Shout out to Tim Gar, Team Titan. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's Big Drew live here at the Coliseum in St. Petersburg, Florida for the Hurricane Pro, sponsored by Titan Medical. Shout out to Tim Gardner for always putting on a great show. Morning show was great. Afternoon show is going on right now. IFBB is going on right now. And I can't wait for the night show. If you guys are coming back for the night show, make sure you come by the Titan booth, see me, see the girls, get a free t-shirt, hit the iPad. And again, shout out to Tim Gardner. Come by the Coliseum tonight, Tampa Titan. Let's go. Hurricane Pro with Titan Medical and we're meeting tons of new people and we are educating everybody on all the things that Titan Medical has to offer. Hurricane Pro was amazing this year like it is every single year. Titan Medical Center brought all the energy. You know we had to bring all the fun. We had tons of people engaging with us at our Titan booth, finding out all about our therapies and how to take control of their health. The competitors were amazing, and so was the crowd this year. Titan is always happy to support great events like this and grow in the community. If you have questions about our Titan Medical Center therapies, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. We want to help you feel, look, and perform at your optimal levels. One of the things is, 
is what are they minimizing because the law allows right and so they'll take advantage of that of course compared to you guys are going over and above going in every way if form. i can take care of them i set them up to win yes no for sure listen for us their health is no more importance right and what we do has to be right on like so there's other places out there and what they'll do is they'll do the bare minimum of things so like a blood test your blood test like hers is like our standard full female panel i added a couple tests on yours as far as the amino acid testing, the food allergy, allergy sensitivity testing, and the hemoglobin A1C. Which is great. Yes, I mean, those are key factors you wanna look at too as well. But you know, for what you get, like I charge 150 bucks to a patient, and some places will only do like, maybe a CMP, a comprehensive metabolic panel, which is like liver, kidneys, electrolytes. They might do a CBC, which is a complete blood cell count. Right. And maybe that's it, maybe a PSA. So they're running minimal tests and then putting them at risk for other things to happen. The other thing is, is that some places, because they only want to do the minimal thing, they'll blood test them only one time a year. And that's so dangerous because they're putting them on all kinds of androgens and not like conservative dose of testosterone, maybe 300 milligrams, which is a pretty higher dose than two. And then they're putting them on other androgens. What happens is that some people convert their blood cell counts. Red blood cell count goes up, hemoglobin hematocrit go up, blood turns into like sludge, thickens, DVTs, blood clots, strokes. That was the, the thing about testosterone. Oh, it's gonna make you have a heart attack. It's because they weren't properly looking at what was going on. So that that was the that's the big thing with us. Like we make sure that we, we go above and beyond. We know what's going on in your health all the way through and through. And that way we can help you make the educated decision what you want to do with your health. Seeing this in person changes things. Yeah. Because it, it's rumors are rumors. Of course. It's like a lot of companies are trying to do the least amount of work and yep. profit. Yep. Where you guys are going over and above and doing something like this yeah. that I've never seen another company do. Yeah. Now again, it's like it's it's pretty impressive to see in person. Thank you. And again, our conversations have been like, yeah. uh, if you make them have hope, you get them in a better position, they will continue to. Of course. They'll come back. Be a client and stuff. They'll tell you, tell other people about, about us. I mean, then the people will see the results. Well, hey, what did you do? And that's a, a big chunk of how we got so big so quick was word of mouth referrals. It was because we didn't have the advertising budget, but we did right by each patient. We made sure that we did each patient one by one, got them results, and at that point, that just spread. You know, if you do the right thing, good things are going to yeah. happen. So that's so kind of that's what our mindset is here. What's up guys, John here from Type Medical Center in the Type Medical Center Lounge in the Type Medical Center headquarters. And we are officially getting ready for Olympia 2023. That's right, Olympia is back and better than ever, right in our backyard in Orlando, Florida. Really excited about this. We're gonna be traveling down and bringing all the Titan and Titan ads with special guests like Michael Hearn on Friday and Saturday to be there with you guys. Last year was in Vegas, so it was, it was a pretty big hike for us to travel out there with everybody and ship everything out. This is gonna be a lot easier, so we got tons of giveaways for you guys. Guys, girls, special giveaways, all kinds of great stuff. So make sure you guys come on down and see us. We have three booths this year. We're gonna have our 2020 booth, which is gonna be our main booth, which Mike and all their special guests will be at. We'll have our 10 by 20 booth with a tight medical center car and a tight net to take pictures with you guys. And we also have a 10 by 10 anti-aging pavilion booth, and we will be giving a live seminar on Friday and Saturday at 1.30 p.m. If you wanna learn how Tight Medical Center can help you feel better, look better, and perform better, then you must attend. If not, make sure you stop by the booths, take some pictures, talk to us, get some free giveaways, make sure you put that name and email on the iPad so you can see all the great things coming from Tight Medical Center in the future. So I can't wait, and I hope you can't wait. We will see you guys down in Orlando, Florida for Olympia 2023. Let's go. I'm at Titan Medical Center today getting my blood work done. I recommend everyone to get your blood work done, whether you're into fitness or not. It's always good to see what's going on inside of your body. I come to Titan Medical Center because it's professional and it's just great service every time. If you're in the Tampa area, come check us out at Channel Side. Or if you're out of state, we service nationwide. So come check us out at Titan Medical Center. Call or 
text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. We want to help you feel, look, and perform at your optimal levels. No matter what your journey may be, Titan Medical Center can help you get there while looking better, feeling better, and performing better. Achieve your goals while performing at optimal levels. Start living your life to the fullest. For more information on how Titan Medical Center can help you, call 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Titan Medical Center has skilled, licensed medical professionals like APRN Chenille Unitas. I started out as a nurse, which I have been for 12 years. I went back to graduate school six years ago to um, further develop my knowledge base to better treat and care for patients with more assessment skills, diagnostic training, treatments, and developing plan of care. So I do work alongside other doctors and medical providers as well. And I've been at Titan Medical Center for four years. Hormones do play a very vital role throughout the body. They act on a lot of different receptors to warrant specific mechanisms throughout the body. Um, and if there is a disruption or an imbalance there, it can cause a lot of different symptoms, um, which would be varied depending on which organ of the endocrine system is being affected. So anything from libido changes, mental cognition, focus, clarity, temperature regulation in the body, fat loss, to name a few. So if we can evaluate the hormones properly and determine which hormones are imbalanced, we can correct them that way rather than trying to guess based on you know, one symptom that somebody is having. If we get a full picture by evaluating the lab work properly, then we can treat everything accordingly. So we can have patients actually come in office or go to any lab core request in their area depending on where they live and then we would get the results that way and then we can evaluate it either in person or via telemedicine. So we primarily do hormone replacement therapy. We do also do a lot of medical weight loss, detox, rejuvenation, um, preventative maintenance, as you said, through different vitamin amino acid therapies and detox and peptide therapies as well. And we do service nationwide, so we have a lot of patients. So it works great too, because then you don't have to worry about coming into the office. Um, if you do live in another state, we can still service you and um, take care of your needs that way. So, you might be busy, just like this picture back here. All the cars, everybody's just moving, right? Not stopping. But you should never be too busy for your health, right? We have all these different things going on in our lives. Everybody's busy, everybody's got responsibilities out there. We understand, I understand, trust me, I'm busy like you guys would not believe. I'm getting pulled in 10 different directions. But I always make sure that my health is in check. The reason is because without my health, I wouldn't be able to do all these things. I wouldn't be busy like I am, right? Or I wouldn't be able to keep up. Or I wouldn't feel good. I wouldn't be optimal. I wouldn't be having a good quality of life by doing all these different things. I couldn't keep up with my son on the baseball field, my wife in the bedroom, or even just myself with my job and my hobbies of working out. So you guys should take your health that serious. It should be priority to you guys. And you guys should want to live optimal too. You guys shouldn't want to live bare bones. Who wants to live at the bottom of the barrel? Nobody, right? Everyone wants to live at the top, right? Mount Olympus, in the heavens, at the ultimate, ultimate peak of their health and how they could feel better. This is what Titan Medical Center can do for you guys. We can turn around all those negative things that are going on and turn them into positives so it can improve your quality of life. And that's what it really comes down to. Results, improving your quality of life. So, if you're looking to really take that step forward, then let Titan Medical Center be your tour guide and take you along the journey. To show you guys the ways to be healthy, to live optimally, and to live your very, very best. It's all about the Titan lifestyle. That's what I preach every single day and I live it every single day. And I want you to too. So at that point, all you have to do is contact us today. Call or text 727-389-3220 and tell them John and I want me to get on the Titan lifestyle today.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Another one. Another one. Another one. That's right. <laughs> Every week, me and my beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys big tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully excite, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new, healthy, and loving, positive level, right? All those things, hopefully, you'll get. Yes. But you know what? You might fall short in some areas. That's why you're here, because you're going to learn some things from us that hopefully you can come up on top instead of on bottom with, right? Mm -hmm. So this week, we're going to cover something that I think we've all had fun with or all have went out and done. Yeah. And that's Halloween. Candy. Trick or treat. <laughs> Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. You remember all those different sayings out there? The boo wrong. buckets and all the things from McDonald's buckets. and... You know, oh, I used to love those boo buckets. The boo buckets. They're back. Man. I don't eat McDonald's, but you go get a boo bucket for your kid. <laughs> I saw that yesterday when he went to go buy McDonald's the for me. Boo buckets. Peter. You know, these are these are things that are classic, classic memories from my childhood, right? Mm -hmm. and, you know, I like holidays and uh, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. It definitely is hundred percent. It's fun. Uh, especially because it keeps you young at heart. And that's a big thing. For your relationship, right? Once you get in a relationship, Everything's hot and heavy, possibly, and as you keep going longer and longer, dies longer, down. Things could be di things could be dying down. Not all the time. Different relationships, different things, different way people act and, and treat themselves. So, but it could be, you know. And how are you going to get that spirit back up? How are you going to ignite that old flame, possibly? And that's one one part of you know being young. Being young, you were creative. You had more drive than ever, right? Um, more positive than ever, probably as a kid, and you are as an adult. But at that point, because, you know, as an adult, you know, we see all the real things that we don't see as a kid. And that <laughs> kind of ruins things for us. Right? <laughs> yeah, you got the, what, what do they call it? Like, where you're just like, it's like blinded, like, just happiness. Because you have no idea what's going on around you. Yeah, yeah, you just got the blinders on. You're looking <laughs> yeah. at, I mean, you know, when you're a kid, you know, you think Santa Claus is going to come down the chimney. You think the Easter Bunny is going to be hopping along and yeah, give you a your basket. Until your parents ruin it and tell you that, I bought all those presents. This is over. Oh, man. That was Cherise, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no more. That is presents from me. <laughs> she was jealous of Santa was getting all the credit. I'm like, man, Santa's got credit for at least five years now. He's five. He's good. But, uh, you know, I mean, Halloween could be a, a great tool for you as a couple. Um, even if you were sharing it with your kids. I know when we used to go trick-or-treating with Peter, and we took Peter... His first year he was born, I think, right? Remember, mm -hmm. it was like right after he was he was like six months or something like that. Oh, he was a pumpkin, right. and he has asked to be a pumpkin again this year yes. at 14 years old for baseball. Yeah, but, you know, I thought it was really cool because I dressed up with him. So I dressed up, yeah. you know, we go trick-or-treating, and Wolverine. we did that for years and years and yeah. years until finally he didn't want me to dress up no more. And now he doesn't want him to go anymore, and now he doesn't want to go anymore at all. That's kind of how that that, yeah. that evolves, right? Yeah. I mean, Enjoy them while they're little. Yeah. They really don't get it. Then you got to check their candy. Yeah. Then it moves on to the, okay, cool, we can do this. Yeah. And then it moves on to, I don't want to be seen in public with you. Get away yeah. from me. I'm going with my friends. <laughs> and then it moves on to, now here you are with a basket yeah. at your front door serving other children. Yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. That's <laughs> the how it evolution goes. of Halloween life for everyone on the planet that's a parent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, Halloween's changed, obviously. So if you have kids, you know, you're taking your kids trick-or-treating, and I don't even know what night they're going to go man, maybe this weekend really or whatever it is. Just talking about that, maybe man. They're might, not really trick-or-treating You anymore. might get like an hour or two to go trick-or-treating. It wasn't like that before. It was like, A big man, festivity. every kid was just every ready, like, to just to go out trick-or-treating. Yeah, like, they just wanted deal. to have fun. They wanted to go in groups. You know, the parents would go. They'd walk around. The kids would go, and they'd run up to the door, and, they, you know, they'd all be there talking. Everybody's having a good time. Um, you know, you, I, that's something I think we, we're missing, you know. I, we're not getting it back, guys. Social media, they're going to have these candy buckets on there. and you can, You're can you going to be able to get candies online and everything. It's going to be great. Was candy it? buckets? Yes, of course. Everything has went to, you know, everything oh. has been now digital. Oh. So you're going to receive your candies digital. Everything's going to be digital. You won't have to leave. The, you won't have to leave. <laughs> I was just talking to somebody about that earlier today. I'm like, man, these kids don't go trick-or-treating or nothing anymore. So I thought the kids, I think they have a specific day. And like, I've seen some kids went trick-or-treating this last weekend. So oh, really? So I guess every area is a little bit different. Um, I don't know. You, we would go trick-or-treating on Halloween. Yeah, it's supposed to be on Halloween. Like, Halloween, that's when we would do it. And, you know, there's a, a wide variety of different places you go. You were going around your neighborhood. You go to the big, fancy neighborhoods because they had the best candy. Yeah, or you drive might go me there. The, <laughs> might go to the mall. I, I remember going to the mall one yeah, year mall and going too. to all the shops and yep. they were doing that too. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. But you're asking yourself, all right, John, how's that helping my relationship? <laughs> right? Because I could care less about these kids going trick-or-treating. That's cool. My kid's gone out of the house or I take my kid trick-or-treating and I don't really don't care. So, 
let's talk about it. The real reason we were talking about Halloween and having a good time and using it as a tool is, one, keeping yourself young. If you have that mindset and you're playful with yourself and you're able to dress up and not be so serious all the time, and listen, I can get serious, but there's there's different times where you don't want to be like that. And that's what happiness revolves around, having all these different things and being in the right state of mind when you're doing it. So being younger at mind and being younger at heart will keep you alive longer. It's a fact. It is a fact. And at that point, you will be happier. And your partner the same way. You want to do that, right? And be happy with your partner. So... Maybe you guys go to a, a Halloween party. Yeah, right? they have them all over the place. Halloween event. Like even here uh, in, in Tampa, we're going to have carnival, right? And Mike Piper's putting this huge carnival thing on. Yeah, Piper. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and view, bringing Every huge year. DJs. And everybody dressed up for that, and they go out there, and they have a good time to listen to music and have a ball and have a blast. You know, this is something you guys can utilize. You guys can go out in the town. You guys can do some different things. You, you know, guys can dress up. Yeah, like, you guys can dress don't up. be afraid to dress up when you're, you know, 25, 35, 45, whatever, 55. Dress up. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Nobody's, I mean, maybe you're being judged, but no one cares. Um, you go out, have a good time. Yeah. Get, me and John, and I'll make sure to give all these cool pictures in case you didn't already. But we have dressed up like every year. I mean, I mean, every superhero you can possibly imagine, like Spider Girl and Spider Man, Iron Man, Iron Girl. Yeah, the, it's, oh, Hawks, oh man, the, I, that Captain was a good America. one. See, you know, all you really need to do to bond with your significant other is find a green paint because you want them to be Incredible Hulk, right? And make sure it's the acrylic paint that oh. doesn't come off the body, right? And you put it everywhere. And then at three o'clock in the morning, realize, oh, this is not coming off. That acrylic paint was. And so I was serious. pregnant. I was on my knees in the tub scrubbing this guy. <laughs> it's not coming I off. I went from the green hawk to the red hawk real quick. <laughs> Moral of the story. But it was fun. You know, it was bonding. You know, I mean, poor John and his skin. Because I got, I got over it after a while. I'm yeah. like, all right, man. I was like, I made this this side of the body. You do the other half. Yes, yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, that was, that was something, you know. I mean, you go to a costume contest, you know. Maybe you guys win a costume contest yeah. or just be involved with it. It's just, it's just fun, yeah. right? You just want to have some good fun. Old, good old clean fun. You know, no stress, no garbage. You don't got to go drink. You don't got to do any drugs. You don't do anything like that. Just go out and have a good time. Go to, I mean, they have haunted houses all over the place. That's another thing. That's a cool thing to do. You can walk through there. You know, it kind of puts you guys like, I'm always yeah, like. Yeah, your I, girl's going to want to hug up on you because yeah, you're scared. Yeah, I you're always hold on to John's Calvin Klein's. And I mean tight. <laughs> I hold on to those Calvin Klein's tight. And this is how I walk through the, the whole thing, like this. And then come out and like, did you like it? I'm like, yeah, it was great. <laughs> oh, it's always John's back. I mean, even, even with Peter, we, we started taking <laughs> Peter to Haunted House when he was six years old. Peter was like, man, that's that's a little young. He went to everything. All the Bush Gardens, Hall Scream <laughs> ones, Scream Again. I mean, so all the ones, major ones down here, yeah. he went to. You know, but, you know, flip side of that, right? You go out, you have a great time. Or maybe you don't, and you stay home, and you have a great time. Dress up. Perfect cosplay type situation where you guys can involve some fantasy in with it. And you guys can maybe ignite those flames that have diminished over time. We're on national television. You should tell me what you would ever want me to dress up as. Oh, man. I don't know. On the spot. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Maybe okay. a genie in a bottle? I mean, Princess Jasmine is what she already looks like. So it's, it's not that That's hard. easy. I'll so just show up as, like show up as myself. I don't want that. <laughs> I want, that. I want something like really off the wall. Like, I'll put on a long shirt and be like, I'm Jasmine in pajamas. Like Daphne or something. Like put on like one of those wigs, like a purple dress. Like oh something gosh. totally different, right? Oh my goodness. Totally different. So it sets your partner apart from what you like recognize them as. And that's kind of cool, right? You're like, oh wow, this is new to me. This is, uh, this is a really fun situation. We're having a good time together. Uh, we're doing a new experience together. And this could lead to more down the road, right? And yeah. this could lead to... You know, like I said, igniting memories, those flames back. Memories. Yeah. Memories is something people can't take from you, right? So when you create memories, no one takes memories from you. Good yeah. and bad, you yeah. know? But hopefully you have more good memories than bad memories. Yeah. But memories are good. You create them, you capture them, take pictures, take videos. You can always go back to it. Yeah. You know, these are good things you want to do in a relationship, in a healthy relationship, is create memories. Right. Memories, memories, memories. Yeah. No one can take it. Yeah. It'll always be there. New bonds are formed with those memories, too, as well. Yeah. And that happens with your partner, with your kids. I mean, anybody you're a close to, the more experiences you go through together, the closer that bond gets. And, you know, you can you can name a whole bunch of different organizations where you can kind of see this. 
One is usually the military. Two is sports teams. They get together, they go through all these trials and tribulations together, and even if they hate each other's guts, they ride for each other. Mm-hmm. And that that's really cool. Like mm-hmm. that's like the ultimate, you know, bond there. So I mean, really, really cool stuff. So happy Halloween to you guys early. Halloween's gonna be this week, so make sure you guys got candy for the kids. Try to give them the most healthy candy out there, and I know there's no such thing as. <laughs> John's on the back over here, like, let me see this hyper fructose corn Here's a corn protein syrup. bar. I'm gonna get little protein oh bars coming gosh, out. Jesus. <laughs> but listen, enjoy Halloween. Use it as a tool. Use it as a fun time. Whether you have kids, don't have kids, experience Halloween together. Enjoy the holidays, uh, and create those traditions. So that's it, guys. That's our Cupid's Corner for this Sunday. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC, or you could DVR it, or don't worry about it, and just go over to YouTube and go to Titan Medical Center, hit the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell, and watch all the great episodes of Our Cupid's Corners and more cool content. We also have podcasts, so if you don't want to watch us or you're on a long trip, you can always listen to us and get those great tips and information that we're giving out. We appreciate it, and we'll see you back next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. At 11 a.m., we'll see you there. My sexy husband, John.